Hey, get it, guys. This is Calvin from the Cartoon Company. I do a lot of 1UZ uh, parts, repairs, wiring, conversions. But today we were talking about aftermarket computers. And it happens to be on 1UZ. This particular job, uh, Link Extreme, 1UZ, non VVTI. What we're going to talk about in this little session of uh, setup is oil pressure into the ECU, in any pressure. You can do it with fuel pressure, a block pressure, or cooling system pressure, any of the pressures that you want to run. It's very similar to setting up a MAP sensor, because they're just a pressure sensor. Pardon me. So let's have a quick look at it, and hopefully I'll get through with this one pretty quickly. I happen to be setting up an oil pressure on this one. So I've wired the loom with quite a long piece of oil pressure loom, so it can either go back to here, or it's got enough length to come around to the forward facing one like a Sora one. I'm using this little 150 PSI sensor. They also come in 100 PSI, which is really fantastic. So it's a great little unit, very easy to work with. What I've set up on this one, the oil pressure goes into the ECU, signal goes in, there's a 5 volt and a 0 volt supplied from the ECU. And I'm using the ECU to switch an oil light. Uh, so it can put the output out of the ECU on another channel, and then you can turn an oil light on or off based on the oil pressure. So we'll wire that up. We're going to have it set up in the computer next. I'm actually already in the ECU. So I'm already in the ECU. I've gone to analog volt two, so I've gone here, analog volt two, and I've clicked on it, it was off, and I brought it down and clicked on oil pressure. Now in this case, a 150 PSI TI sensor calibration should work. But we're going to enter our own calibration. So I'm going to pop it on calibration table 5. It's not actually a table, it's just cal 5. So we go to cal 5, and we've got, we want PSI. I happen to know off the top of my head, uh, 0.5 and 4.5. I use a lot of these sensors, so it's a nice easy calibration. That will be 0 which was already at zero, and this is 150. I'm then going to save that to the ECU, store to ECU. Because I'm on calibration, here's the oil pressure here. I happen to have it set up on my vacuum pump, which is set to pressure. So I'm trying to put about just over 10 PSI in it. If we have a look on the ECU, on the, on the PC, there we have oil pressure. So that sensor's working. What I can then do is I can go onto one of my auxiliary outputs, in this case number five, um, and I can turn on and off a light. So I'll make it a GP output, condition one only. So we have to have uh, AM volt 2. So the AM volt 2 is less than 8 PSI, and you can see. It's off. No, that's greater than. We'll put it to less than. AN volt 2 is less than 8 psi, and there's our GP output is presently on. So that's our oil light. I'm just going to find my oil light. I've got, should have 12 volts here.
So I've got my 12 volt supply and we will pop it into oil. And the link is able to drive a light like that. And now if I give it oil pressure, it will go out. So I have an oil light controlled by the link. What that means is we've got an abil the ability to log the oil pressure and actually properly measure the oil pressure. So each time the car comes in for a service, easy to connect up the laptop, have a quick look. If there wants to be a dash or there's other little units that can be plugged in um, that bring up a few basics. Um, and there's some really neat ones that just supply, that show like three or four bits of data. So you could have RPM, oil pressure and water temp. If you have that, because I've got the oil pressure sensor going in, we're able to use some of that sort of stuff and also monitor the condition of the engine. Put on warnings, warning buzzer if, if required or anything like that um, to, uh, to show if there is a problem with that oil. Also allows you to check that you've got the correct oil in. I had a customer who sent me a log file the other day and I looked at it and I went, well, at 4,000 RPM, you're like 10 PSI less than you should be. And the maximum oil pressure was 60 PSI once it was warm. I'm, I asked him which oil he was running, and I did recommend a slightly thicker oil for that vehicle. Neat being able to have that, and it might mean you can pick up a problem before it really becomes a much more serious problem. So that's oil pressure. I hope that was helpful, and we'll talk to you again. Catch you later.